Hey guys, James here today and welcome to part one of Wax to Riches. Thanks to EA Game Changers for making this possible. This is an early access version of Eco Lifestyle. So that's why uh, the Sim Supply is on screen still. Sim Supply has died, though the username still exists. And because this is an early access version, it will be sort of jumping around the screen. You'll see it in other creators that also have the same version. We are recording this on you know, May, well, I'm recording this on May 14th. So, you know, it's a little while before it comes out. And that's why that's there. In case you're wondering, uh, we're going to be doing a little Let's Play, a mini Let's Play. We're going to be doing a Rags to Riches. We're going to try it out with candles and see what happens, really. That's kind of the plan. So this is my Sim right here. Let me just jump out. Uh, oh, I've gotten lost here. I am. This is my sim. This is James Burner because he's my burner sim because after this let's play he'll probably never exist again. But here he is. He's wearing some of the new clothes, which I, I gotta say, uh, I didn't know that the, I mean, Cass is never my thing. But I don't know if I'm a big fan of Cass in this pack, but I tell you what I am a big fan of. I love this well, especially, specifically this neighborhood, the port. Uh, it's just so dirty and gross. But anyway, I've literally just jumped in. I do need to get rid of my money because this is rags to riches. So there it goes, minus $19,000. We have $0. Uh, the way we can make money uh, in this is actually dumpster diving. So over here we have a dumpster, which we're going to look in later. Right now it won't have anything. I think every couple hours it sort of replenishes. But um, what we do have is this glowing board here. So this is going to be the community voting board, which I believe if we have a look down here, voting is currently open. Uh, I have no points though, uh, no influence points. I believe we get these from being friendly and talking to neighbors. Um, oh, I am coughing from the gross air, I think. I'm not too happy with life right now. Maybe I would feel a little bit more at home. Uh, it is quite warm. Uh, so why don't we go into my warm weather gear of... <laughs> <laughs> Overalls and no t-shirts. <laughs> Great. Uh, yeah, cool. So I guess we're gonna wait for uh, someone to show up here. Oh, here we go. Jeffrey Landgrab. Apparently I'm talking to him. He's all the way over there. Uh, I do just want to talk to some people though, because we need to get some influence points so that I can actually vote for stuff. But I do have the new aspiration, or one of the new aspirations, which is a Master Maker. I guess I should probably go through what my sim has. So we're doing the Master Maker aspiration. Uh, wants to be an expert at fabrication, which is exactly what we're going to be doing. Making candles, making items. We'll be doing the new freelancer, uh, like sort of branch, or I guess a uh, gig provider, and checking that out. Because that will be able to give us a bunch of money from making rugs and selling them to clients and all that kind of stuff. Uh, there is also another career that is the civil engineer, uh, which we won't be doing in this let's play, but that is something that is, I think that gives you access to a bunch of other stuff, such as the sort of uh, pollution vacuum thing that we saw in the trailer. I think that's how you get that. Oh, hey, uh, okay. Well, that's, that's awkward. Imagine just having a conversation with someone and this complete stranger just walks in between you. Hello. I mean, yeah, I get, I, I get, I will talk to you because I do actually need to get some influence points, which we are already getting some. We have four at the moment, which is actually really, really handy. Got another four right there. Is a dumpster? Oh, the dumpster! Sorry, guys, I gotta go. I gotta go dive in the dumpster to get some stuff real quick. So I will see you later. Uh, so the dumpster diving, we can find a bunch of stuff in here. So we can get dive for deals, dive for ingredients, and dive for meals. So meals are self-explanatory. Ingredients is the stuff that we're going to craft items with, fabricate stuff with. So there's like compostables, and I believe, what's the other one? So if we hover over our money, there's two icons. There's a little banana icon, it's really tiny. And the other icon, which I think is like a spanner. It looks like a spanner or something, or a wrench. Um, and that's sort of like the, I, I can't, what's the name of it? That's sort of, uh, little parts that we need to make stuff. I can't remember the name of it. We have compostables and something else. Anyway, so diving for deals will get us stuff like, uh, we can potentially get some items out of it. Now, they will probably be broken. Uh, most of the time they're broken, but we might be able to find something good. Sometimes we find a little bit of a gem. Uh, in this case, we found, oh, dang. We found a must be love seat in the dumpster. That's pretty good. So I also have uh, three of the new traits because I think there's four new traits. We have three of them here. We have the recycle disciple. These sims are rabid recyclers that benefit from recycling and rummaging for bits and pieces. But should they go too long without indulging in their hobby? Dot, dot, dot. I don't know. I don't know. Just don't. We don't want to go too long without recycling. Uh, then the freegan trait. These sims reject consumerism and prefer to reduce wasteful spending by any means. They enjoy finding reused or thrown away goods and foods. In fact, they have the best luck at finding the highest quality treasures in dumpsters. So that is perfect for what we're doing here. They will also become tense if they spend too much uh, time earning money or spending simoleons. And then of course we have the, the maker trait, which makes sense because we're going to be making a lot of stuff. These sims become happy when making things. They become sad when it's been too long since completing a project on a fabricator, candle making station, juice fizzer, 
or woodworking table. So three of those things there are new. We'll be looking at hopefully some of those in this series. We'll see how we go. Uh, but yeah, that's the other trait that we have there. So we did just find, if we just jump into a buy mode or build mode, we go to our inventory. We did just find this bench. Now it says it's 150 and it looks pretty clean, but I'm going to bet if we bring it out, it's going to change. Yep. It's not too bad. It's got like scratches and all that on it, but it's not too bad. What we're going to do with this Let's Play, we're not going to sell stuff directly to the catalog. We're not just going to sell stuff directly from our uh, little inventory here, which by the way, thankfully has had an update finally. They did update this inventory, which is just a base game update, which is great. Um, we're not going to sell stuff like straight there. There is a new uh, craft selling table that we're going to try and get. Uh, and if we save up enough money, we can do that. It's kind of hard to get a little bit of money to start off with. We might have to sell some stuff directly just to get that. But I'm going to die for another deal here. We also have the new, uh, one of the new plants over here. Uh, we've got the soy plant, which will grow soybeans and also produce soy wax. And we need the soy wax to uh, make candles. So that's also going to be quite important for us there. But I'm thinking we, we sort of head over to this board after I've done the, this next dive. I uh, found recycled materials he put to good use. Okay, so we got a few uh, materials just there. So now we've got a few things that we can craft with. And any item that we find, any any build mode item or any uh, collectible item, we can actually put in the recycle machine and get more of those recycle currency points. So that's something else we can do as well. Right, so we're going to check. Uh, well, let's. I'm going to click vote. I can't actually vote yet because I don't have enough points, but I want to see what the options are. Ooh, this is what I want to vote for right here. Sharing is caring. So there's a bunch of other ones. I'm not going to go through them all right now. But this one, some Sims own a lot of things. Some Sims own just a little bit of things. But what if everyone could just own everything. See that bike sitting there? That could be your bike or anyone's bike. With this initiative, everything you can see can be yours. You see something, you take it. No questions asked, no repercussions. Just don't get too attached to anything you already own. So that could be very useful to take some items uh, and use them. Uh, we need to get a few more points because I think looks like most people are voting for a fun loving community which kind of sucks. Like, what are you voting for that for? We have till Monday at 6 p.m. So we need to get a bunch of points. So let's go talk to this guy. We all, I mean, we also need money. That, that this is, <laughs> we also need to get money, but I would like to get that uh, action plan put in place because that'd be fantastic. Thankfully, we now have a bed. And by bed, I mean bench that we can nap on. <laughs> so that's something that we can do. All right, so we got 12 points. I believe we also get influence points from... Okay, so there's actually a lot of things. I was just having a look at a quick list. So we can get influence points for becoming friends, good friends, best friends, inviting Sims over to your house. We can get it from that. Being promoted, uh, giving gifts, mentoring Sims, hosting events, um, enthusing about something, adding to my Simstagram story. There's a whole bunch of stuff. It's kind of just, I guess, any somewhat positive interaction that, I guess, impacts the community as a whole, uh, whether that's becoming someone's friend or throwing a party and inviting people to it. So I guess that is good to know. Uh, at the moment, the easiest way to do it would just be to have friendly introductions to a lot of people because we don't really know anyone yet. So just saying hi to everyone is going to get us a bunch of points. We already have 16 points, which is fantastic. So I'm going to get these. Can you guys come over here? I need to say hi, please. Thank you. Hi. I need, I need some points. And there is... <laughs> I don't know why I'm trying to click on them from so far away, but... There's also a dumpster over there. No, it's a chair. There is a dumpster over there somewhere, though. I think it's... Yeah, there it is. Also, dive for some deals after saying hi to people. Hey, guys. I just got to rack up a bunch of points because I need you to all share everything with me, please. I would like to have every single item. All right, let's just jump over to the dumpster. We've got 24 points, so we can vote twice now. We've got two voting uh, opportunities. Oh, we found three bucks. Sweet. <laughs> all right. So, oh, coughing a little bit. You know, that's fair enough. Let's dive for some meals because we might need some dinner at some point. I think right now we'll be, we'll be okay for a little while here, but... We're going to need some food soon, so hopefully we can find something. Oh, yeah. Baked Alaska. I mean, the quality is poor uh, and it's spoiled, but, you know. Actually, no, it's not. We've got nine hours till it's spoiled. That's fantastic. I mean, I guess I'll eat it. I'm not hungry, but it's pro- <gasps> Ooh! Ooh! <laughs> uh, but we will- I will eat that now just because- We'll just get our hunger up. It'll be useful. Uh, all right, so then we'll die for another deal real quick, and hopefully we can find something there. All right, come on. Here we go. Four bar oh, we got $7. Okay, so, by the way, so what we're saving up for, we need about, like, $900. Uh, so we're gonna want activities and skills. We want the candle-making table, $550, but we also need the selling table, which is $400. And then we need a bunch of other stuff, too. If we can get the, uh, vertical garden, which is called A-OK -okay Bloomer. <laughs> If we can get that, then we can grow some soy uh, beans as well here, which we need to do just to get some wax. We do have a few of them around the world. I think what I may continue to do is just say hi to people if I don't know them. 
Because if I can get enough voting power, then we can get that free, uh, we can just get free stuff, really. That's kind of, <laughs> that's what we need to do. And then once we got free stuff, we can start making stuff. Hi, please come over and say hi to me. I don't know why all you guys are in uh, the, the new world, uh, you know, but what's up? Welcome. Which, by the way, I don't think I even showed the new world yet. I mean, I've kind of just jumped into this. Uh, no, I don't want to do that. I've kind of just jumped into this let's play like head first. But if we just have a look at the map real quick. So we are currently down here. Uh, in whatever what's this place called uh, Port Promise, which is currently filled with pollution as you can see by all the clouds everywhere Over here is a uh, conifer station, which is just a neutral place. Nothing too crazy there Then over this side on the top left We've got Grimm's quarry, which is actually beautiful so clean because it's got all the sun rays there We can actually see uh, if we click that button up top which uh, neighborhood is what and we can see this one is polluted because it's yellow, this one's neutral because it's just white, and this one is fantastic because it's green. That's that. This is the world. We are currently on this lot here. There's a few lots around us. Thank God there is another bar in this world. I felt like we don't have enough bars in this game. Uh, so I'm really glad there's another one. <laughs> we might be able to go there and get some free stuff actually, so that would actually be really useful. Um, hey guys, uh, I do have 32 points right now, which is fantastic. Are you new? Hang on. Uh, yes, you are new. I'm just going to click on you and hope you come over here and give me some points. I can get 40 voting points just from saying hi to people. I don't even need to be friends with these people. I mean, I will eventually because we need to get more points, but to start off with, I've never been this social in my gameplay of The Sims ever. <laughs> but it's time to say hi to people. All right, I've said hi to uh, enough people to have 40 points here. So let's go ahead and just vote real quick. So we've got till Monday at 6 p.m. as well. Uh, but right now I'm going to vote for sharing is caring and we're going to vote a few times for that. We've got six votes on that. That gets us up above any of the others, which is fantastic. So we're going to vote for that. And then if we can just keep getting some more influence points, that'll help us out too. Uh, so I'm going to say hi to you. Um, and then do I know everyone yet? I mean, I think I know most of the people around here. Oh, okay. We just, uh, am I saying hi to you through the board? That's it. <laughs> okay, sure. Sure. If that's what you want to do, you know, go for that. <laughs> All right, leave me alone. Leave me alone, people. Let's go, um, I really like this lot. This is really cool, but this is like a house. No one lives there. I really wish it was a community lot because there's so many useful things here. They got like the fizzy drink maker right there. They've got the recycle machine there, barbecue. It's so good. Oh, they even got their little um, candle making table. Oh, and the fabricator's right there too. Oh, they got a ladder. Oh, wait, I didn't even realize that they had like built a crane. That's so cool. Oh, that's so cool. How much did that house cost? Oh, wait, people do live there, but I want to move them out. Get out, that's my house. That's my house in the future. $42,000. Okay, that's what we're going to save. We're going to live there. <laughs> That's my plan. All right, I do kind of need to go to the toilet. He kind of needs to see he's a little bit dirty. So what we're going to do, we're actually going to travel because I found, so the community lot in this uh, neighborhood, the one here, this is where the community projects take place. If we vote for stuff, that's a lot that can change uh, in this neighborhood. There's one in each of these neighborhoods. There's one here and there's one over here. This one I found in this uh, area has toilets in it by default. The one near me doesn't. So we're going to go to that one use a toilet, just wash my hands, get nice and clean, do some dumpster diving, hopefully find some good stuff and see how we go. I love how trashy this world is. I love how dirty this whole place starts off. So, so good. All right, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna not dive for deals because we can't do that yet. Let's go use the toilet. Um, it's a little less polluted here, it should be anyway. It should be, yeah, so here it is neutral. Uh, so it's not too crazy here, which is nice. Use up the toilet and then we're gonna go wash my hands like 10 times because that's all we can do. <laughs> So this world, or this neighborhood, I don't, I've not explored this one too much. There's a fishing spot down there. I'm wondering, oh, we do have a dumpster here. Can we use that one? There is one that we can dive in. That's good. There's another one over here. No, that's not one. That's just little post box things. There's these really bland looking apartment blocks, uh, which by the way, these actually update. If you uh, get like a modern design or something, they change, or I think they can go either way. But by default, they look so bland and just ugh. But they do change, which is actually kind of cool. Uh, so I would like to go, I guess we'll just use this dumpster. Uh, this should have stuff now, which is good. Dive for deals. I'm not too hungry. He does need some fun though. So that is gonna be a little bit of a problem. I've had some recycled materials, dive for some more deals. Uh, not too bothered about ingredients at the moment. Kind of looking for items, to be perfectly honest. 
Because if we can get, like, something for our home lot to be able to use, we found some dye, which is cool. So dye is how we can make different colored items with the fabricator, which, I mean, we don't even have yet, so it's a little way away. All right, so we're a little dirty. I'm going to go wash, wash my hands. I think we've, we've also tapped out this particular dumpster. All right, we're looking pretty clean now. So this guy here is our recycle machine, which thankfully there's already some of these around the world, and we can just put items in here, whatever you have. And recycle them. I don't want to recycle those items because it's not really useful. Oh, we can dive for some more deals already. And it's empty. Okay. Well, that's that one. So we did find one other one. I think there, there should be two, I would assume. I don't know. I don't know that there should be two, but I just assumed there would be. There's that one down there. I guess maybe there's just the one in this world because uh, there's already one on this lot as well. So maybe that's why there's only the one. That's right, we got nowhere else to be and nothing else to do, so let's go dive in the dumpster <laughs> and see what we can find. Ooh, we found a steamed TV stand. Now, it looks like, right there, that it's potentially burnt and ruined, which means it's not a huge amount of use to us other than recycling it. However, I believe... Now, I am not certain, because this is early access, uh, and I don't have all the information on the game yet because I haven't really done any live streams on this game to talk about it But I believe in the civil engineer career where you get that machine that sucks pollution out of the air I believe that also can repair burnt items. I think that's how it works Do not quote me on that and you can correct me on that later as well But this dumpster is empty. So I'm actually gonna head back to our home world And now I think because I, I do really want to just try and grind out the money, but I think because I have a limited amount of time with this early access version of the game, I think we would just sell some of the items that we find initially. And then once we get to be able to buy the candle thing, then we can actually make money through that. So I'm going to sell that. I know it means we actually have less on our lot now. That one's empty. I think they are empty when you first travel. So we actually have to wait a little bit anyway. Now, I think there's a bench over here somewhere, isn't there? We found one before. There's one there. Let's go nap on that. There might be one closer, but let's go to that one. We're going to have a nap. Uh, and then tomorrow um, at 6 p.m., I believe, is when the next thing is enacted. The next voted thing is enacted for the uh, neighborhood here. Uh, you're going to need a nap more than that, buddy. Now, thankfully, it is, uh, you know, just warm and nice because I don't have seasons on this build. I probably should have mentioned that earlier. I only have base game and eco lifestyle in this early access version. Uh, so thankfully, there's no weather. We don't really have to worry about that, which is nice. Otherwise, that could be a big problem with Rags and Riches staying outside. Let's go dive for some sweet deals. We should probably also dive for some meals because he's quite hungry again. Thankfully, we can just find food here. Oh, hi. Liza Pancakes, my favorite person. Hang on. Wait for me. I said... Okay, never mind. All right, dive for meals. Let's see what we got because we, we need to eat some food here. We found a uh, fish on a stick. It is spoiled, but that's all right. We're going to eat it anyway. There's not much else I can do, so we're just going to have to eat that. Ill. <laughs> Ill. Alright, let's dive for some more deals. Uh, you can actually find sinks. I've, I've found before, diving in these guys, we can find like a sink in the, here that is actually functional too. So if we could j then wash our hands on my own lot, that'd be great. Hey guys, I'm really- it's actually really nice that you guys all gather around where I am. So it means I can say hi, get some free- free points. Are you, do I know you? I do know you. So we should go up to- is that, yeah, that takes us to eight points. Uh, <laughs> are you guys kind of disgusted by my stink? Oh, Katrina! Get back here. I need to talk to you. Hang on. Give me some points because then I can actually vote another time and make sure we definitely get the free stuff one. All right, leave me alone. I got the points. Now leave me alone. You got to die for some sweet deals. <laughs> All right, let's see what we can. I, give me something good here. Found a kitchen upgrade pot. I mean, that, that's pretty good. That is actually worth a decent amount of money. So if I just sold that, we could get a nice amount of money. We get 90 bucks. I'm just going to sell that, like I said. Uh, let's go vote as well. So we should be able to vote a little bit more here. We do need to go to the toilet. We have absolutely no fun. Our hygiene is bottomed out. <laughs> you know, we're not having the best life right now. Uh, but, you know, whatever. So this has got nine votes on it. Dang. I think it's definitely going to win, but I'm just going to put a tenth vote on it. You can also, I should probably mention, add vote for something else that isn't there. Uh, is this something specifically that you want? There's a whole bunch of different ones to choose from here that all do different things. But the sharing is caring, like I said, is the one where we just get free stuff. Uh, that's probably the most applicable. Uh, and what, I, <laughs> what I'm finding the more I play this pack is it's like, this pack is like, 
Rags to Riches, the expansion pack. Uh, or at least it can be. You can play it that way. That's how I'm playing it. I mean, look at this guy. He is having a rough day. I'm going to change his outfit maybe back into just like the regular, regular schmegula after he has a little bit of a nap. He doesn't even need a nap. I don't know why I'm napping, but whatever. Voting period's almost over. That's okay because we have already voted. I think we're going to get what we want. All right. So if we do another quick dive down over here, hopefully we can find some stuff real quick. I know his hygiene and his bladder are low. His fun is low. He's not having the best time. I mean, I... Oh, sweet. We've... Wait, we found a sweet lounge chair. I was gonna say, he's not having the best time. Oh, I forgot we had this as well. Hang on, we might actually have enough money to, uh, if we put the... Well, actually, let me have a look. So this is something interesting that happens that I noticed. Um, they appear as, like, nice and clean in here. 345, if we then put it down, then try to sell it, it will sell for zero. But if you just undo it, sell it first, you get the money. Uh, is it cheating? I don't know, but quite frankly, I don't care because I would like to play this pack before I lose my early access. And as a wise man once said, it's not cheating if it's in the game. So what we're going to do, we're going to use that money, which, yeah, I mean, open for debate. This is a mini series, so I'm taking some liberties with it. Uh, we're going to use that to buy the candle making station. And then we need to save up a little bit more money for us to be able to afford the selling table, which is 400 bucks. Which are pretty close to, but what we can do with this, I believe we can now take a, a job in the freelance career. What am I doing? Find a job after he's done this little dive here. Oh, hang on. Uh, the United Puts Eco Footprint is neutral. Learn more in the Eco Footprint lesson. So we've just gone from industrial, completely industrial, to neutral. So I think, I don't know if that um, has changed the area a little bit or, I mean, it still looks real trashy. But the footprint is different. Uh, but anyway, so what that should mean is we should now have... Oh, I was going to have a look. Anyway, here's uh, the civil engineer uh, designer career, sorry. That's this one here, which is the other new career. But we're going to go freelancer because there is a new branch in there we can do, a new trade. And that one is the simply crafted trade fabricator, juice fizzer, candle maker. That's the one we're going to do. That will allow us to do the new stuff and make money for it. No, no, no. I didn't mean to do that more than once. Uh, our place is a little bit cleaner. Oh, oh, I thought I thought that was saying that we had got our thing. No, the voting is still going on, but we do have this. Now, to make a candle, we're only level one, so we're going to make this, but we need a few of the uh, items or the recyclable material items. We also do need wax, I believe. Yeah, wax block, which we don't have, but we can get from these guys here, wild soy plants. Doesn't have any wax at the moment. We can also just buy it, I believe. Yeah, so I'm gonna buy some wax, get a couple of those, make a candle. We can now make a dipped candle. Oh, we can make a shale dipped candle, sweet. That's, so the um, other ones there, actually should probably just have a little closer look at that. Uh, <laughs> so if we go, no, 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 no. Make a candle. So the other ones that appear down here are the ones that require different dyes, which if you recall, we found one of those dyes in the dumpster, uh, which, uh, a bit weird. I don't know. We found dumpster dye, I guess, whatever. Uh, but those will allow you to make the different color variations. By default, you can always make one variation of any craftable in this pack, but the dyes allow you to make the different ones. And as you saw, we could also just purchase the dyes here. They do cost a bit of money, so starting off, we can obviously not really afford to do that. But we're going to go back over to our lot now. We do really need a pee, uh, so that's a problem. But we're going to make a sweet candle uh, just because we can. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Yeah, dip that candle. So this, uh, oh, or not. <laughs> so this whole thing is kind of similar to, uh, I, I guess you could sort of equate it to like the, the flower arranging where you sort of make the arrangements and you can sell them that way. But I guess this also ties into the freelancer career as well. So we can have to make them for the freelancer career. But we will make these candles. We'll sell them on a selling table when we can do that. But I guess this one we're not because I kind of just made it for no reason. I am also going to pee myself in a minute, but whatever. Should be fine. All right, let's make this candle. So he's dipping. Oh, yeah, look at this candle. Look at it build up. Sweet. I, oh, I don't know if you guys ever did this, but there was this museum back when I was a kid and they had like a little waxing and you could like dip your hand in it and then you take it out and you get a sweet wax mold of your hand. It was awesome. And this just reminded me of it because he's dipping it in. All right, so James is a maker. They find joy in making things in the fabricator, woodworking table, and a candle making session. They become sad when they haven't made stuff. Cool. Uh, James finished making a dipped candle. It can be found in his inventory. Hell yeah, there it is. Quality norm, normal. Norm dull? There it is. Look at that. Look at that sweet candle. Dipped candle. Oh yeah. So let's put that back in here. We could sell that for 25 bucks right away, but we're not going to do that. Because what we're going to try and do is go to our gigs. Uh, ch we'll check for gigs. Uh, now, none of these I can take. So <laughs> that's not ideal. <laughs> 
Fabrication level three, level two. So I might need to level up for candles. If we got the fabricating machine, there are some level one stuff in there. But how much is that? The fabricating machine costs way more than this. So we might have to work up to that. This, this guy here for 1800 bucks. Although, hang on. That house over there. Oh, I moved the family out of it though. I wonder if we can take it if no one's living there. We'll just have to wait and find out for the next part. Next part will be back. It'll be 6 p.m. The new uh, neighborhood uh, action plan will be enacted, which is the free items one, which means we can just take any item from anywhere. But I think it also said people are going to take items from me too. I don't know. We'll see how that plays out. Uh, we also really need a toilet and a shower, but you know, that'll wait for next time. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time and have an awesome day.